yet another unboxing video this time. It is the Dometic Portable Toilet. This is, oh gosh, what brand, what model is this? This is the 970 series and precisely it is the 976 standard model in gray color. Okay, we got the box open. It's got a piece of cardboard on top. And once again, it's inside of a plastic bag. I'm not throwing these plastic bags away that I get with all this stuff. It, uh, I can use these for, for something. Okay, come on, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Oh, and out it comes. This is a, a skilled technique here of holding the camera in between my legs while I get this out of the plastic bag. Okay, so it's very light. Um, of course, it will weigh more whenever we get some water into the fresh water tank. Got this piece of bubble wrap stuff around it. Here's a handle on the back for the lower compartment that uh, will help, you know, that you're gonna be carrying it with. Hmm. I don't know, that's kind of weird looking. The plastic back here in the back almost looks kind of like it's melted. That must be from something in the manufacturing process. Here as well, it's kind of, has kind of a, I don't know, it looks kind of messed up, but maybe not. It could just be the way it looks. Here's the top where the water goes in. Hopefully the plug or cap for this is inside there. It's got a handle on the front as well, so you can pick this up with the two handles. Here's where the level indicator is. Some sort of, I'm gonna have to look at the directions to remember how this thing exactly works. It can't be rocket science. So this is a, it looks really tiny, but it's the same height as the toilet in our house. Here's the instructions. We've got the uh, bigger size. This has got a, I believe it's a two and a half gallon holding tank. Or no, it's a five gallon holding tank and the uh, freshwater tank is two and a half gallons. There are the lids for the different tanks. And pretty much uh, <laughs> a portable toilet. This is the first portable toilet I myself have ever owned. This is where the water comes out. This thing has a, features a, uh, it's got this little pump over here that you pump it up and it fills with air and then that allows the water to come out whenever you uh, do the flush <laughs> with some force. There's the hole that uh, <laughs> between the top and the bottom part where, the, <laughs> where it opens up and you put your deposit in there and then it hopefully falls down the hole into the bottom part. Not exactly the same experience as sitting on your regular home toilet, but it will work. I feel like it's Christmas morning and we got all this stuff laying around everywhere that we've opened up. All of these items, including this toilet, are going to go into our truck camper that we're building out. Um, you can look at the truck camper playlist and all related videos will be included there. I went ahead and placed about a gallon of water in the top 
it's pressurized right now, the top holding tank. And you secure that, and then it's got this, this, I guess you would call this a pump <laughs> lever. The instructions say to pump it about 15 times. I think you can do it a little more than that because there's a uh, pressure release valve over here then you can hear the air come out of it whenever it's it reaches the point where that happens and then this button on the front is the flush for the water and I'm going to show you what that looks like when it's pumped up and pressurized and so long as you hold that button down and there's pressure, the water comes out. So it looks like it's uh, already running low because I've been playing around with it. Then to uh, open the hole in the bottom, there's this lever in the front and you simply pull that out and down goes the water. Pretty simple. You are supposed to use a chemical in this toilet to help keep the odor and disgustingness factor down. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how to empty this. There's a little latch back here, right here. You lift up on that, top part comes off. You need to make sure when you're transporting it that this vent is closed. It's got a handle here, so you can tote it around. Then you turn this away. Make sure your vent is open. And uh, take the cap off. And pour it out. Pretty easy.